Welcome to Dentamax. In today's video, I'm going to go over a new feature for marking recommended and required fields on the patient information. To begin, I'm going to click on the setup screen in the top right corner. From here, under practice information, I'll click setup required fields. Once we're in this screen, please take note of the box in the middle. You can click once in a field to set it as recommended or twice for required. If you'd like to reset the item, click it three times and it'll go back to not required or not recommended. You'll notice that this screen allows you to set recommended or required patient information data. This is probably the most crucial part of the program as it dictates what shows up on a claim form and on your patient statement and to ensure that you have proper contact information for your patient as well. The name of your patient, for example, should be required in the system. So if I click once in the field, that item turns yellow, which indicates it's a recommended item to fill out. If I click a second time, it turns red, which indicates it's a required field for your staff to fill out. I'll do the same on the patient's first name, as well as mobile phone number, gender, and birth date. These items are all important for filling in your insurance claim form. I'd like to collect the patient's email address, but it's not required for any specific purposes, so I'm going to leave that as a recommended item, as well as marital status, language, and the patient's preferred contact method and scheduling hours. If we move over to the Insurance Information tab, you'll notice that you can also mark recommended and required fields here, as well as on the extra tab. Not every patient will have insurance, so I'm gonna recommend we fill this out, but it won't be required. Under extra information, one of the things that's important for my practice is to have the patient's referral source information on file. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as recommended as well. Your office staff will not be able to save your patient profile if they do not fill in one of the items that's been marked as a required field. Let's go ahead and test this out. So I'll save my changes, go to my patient list, and enter a new patient. You'll notice your staff can quickly and easily see what items are required versus recommended. It's a nice training guide for any new employees as well. Let's go ahead and plug in a patient name. I'm gonna go ahead and try and save my changes that I have thus far, and notice that I get a warning that says the gender must have a value. I'll click OK and fill in my gender and then try and save my changes once again. I'll get another notification because I did not fill in the required field of mobile number, so mobile must have a value as well according to my settings. You'll notice I do not have to enter anything in the recommended fields, but it's a nice flag for your staff to be alerted as to what things are important to you. Now that we've filled in the required fields, I'll go ahead and save my changes and there's no more pop-up notice. For more assistance, please feel free to contact the training department at training at dentamax.com or call 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.